BT shoes. Bring them. A lot of people try not to bring them, and then they think that they'll get out of PT. But if you don't bring them, you can wear boots. And if you don't bring those, then you can wear blue boots. If you don't wear those, then you go barefoot. It's not an optional thing, PT. Bring nice shoes. Don't bring brand new ones. Bring ones that you will use. Like I've said before, socks, eight pairs. It says white and big letters, so I'm, that means white. And that doesn't mean like white with stripes or mitch mat. Mix match white. It means white white. These are dirty though. Okay, PT shirt. You don't need to bring it. They give you a shirt. Uh, it may be yellow. It may be blue. It may be black. It depends on your squadron or your yeah your squadron and encampment. It depends on your encampment. And then pants. They're supposed to be black or navy blue. These are long, and I'm gonna bring these because it's gonna be cold, I believe. So you can bring long ones or short ones. Make sure they're modest. Okay, the rest of these items I'm not necessarily going to get out, but they are on here. So I'm just going to kind of say what they are and kind of tell you a little bit about them. It actually says on the encampment list that you do have to have a warm jacket like I already showed you. One pair of winter gloves like I already showed you. Just make sure they're in regs. And then one winter hat. They say preferably black. But if you don't have something else, you don't have to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on other things. Because encampment is not super expensive, but it's not super cheap. So just... Be aware when you're getting things. Okay, these are all personal hygiene. Deodorant. It says do not bring anti-perspirant. You can just use both because you'll be sweating. Actually, just don't. Use Holistic or there's other brands because you will be sweating. And if you just use, you can just use your own general sense. Toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, you're going to need it. Bath soap and a plastic container. That means don't bring body wash. Bring a bar of soap. You can bring uh, soap on a rope if you want. Um, a comb, a brush, especially for females who so are going to have to put your hair up. Yes, it's a necessity. Also for males, you do need to have your hair in regs before you go to encampment. Don't expect them to be shaving your heads for you. Just actually get it a lot shorter than it should be because it will grow by the time, unless you're going the day before. And then also be shaving if you have any facial hair. Shampoo, conditioner, goes without saying, razor or and shaving cream or electric razor. Bring those if you're a male. Females will never actually see your legs unless you're wearing a skirt, so you can bring it, but you may not have time in the shower. Okay, two white towels and two white face, face cloths. Bring those. Make sure they're white. One set of white twin sheets. Two flat sheets and a pillowcase. You do not need fitted sheets, you'll find out out encampment. One pillow. They don't provide pillows. One blanket for summer and two blankets for winter. From all that I've heard about winter, it is cold, cold, cold. Bring blankets. I don't care if your bag is overflowing, you're going to want them. Imagine hiding hygiene products, sunscreen, I already showed you that, and sex repellent with DEET, I already showed you that an orienteering or static compass. Don't bring the really nice ones, you can just look through it because that's kind of cheating. And also make sure you have those because there will be exercises with those. A laundry bag. I actually need to find my laundry bag because I have no clue where it is. 10 clothes hangers. White ones. Bring 10 of them. And if you're bringing your clothes on hangers, you don't need to put 10 hangers in your bag. Just think about these things when you're packing to make sure you're not overpacking an extra 10 hangers. One spiral notebook and pencils. All right, said that. It says bring cat 39 one 52 16 drill and ceremonies, but it says optional but suggested. You can bring it, but I don't know that you're gonna be spending a lot of time using it. And if you ever want to see it, then your flight sergeant or someone around you will probably have it. Rain poncho. It says clear brown, black, green, or camo. Just check with, check with your encampment list on what you can actually have. Blister kit, I already went over that. Disposable camera, that's optional if you want to take a picture of your flight. Iron and starch, highly recommended. And ruler, I've already said both of those. Hair dryer and hair care products for females. Take care of your hair. I also suggest hair nets, and I'm attempting on making a video on hair coming up very soon. So make sure you have your hair under wraps and don't just go never having putting your hair in a bun. Bring extra hairspray, hair gel, hair glue, whatever works because I don't care if it looks good or nice, just make sure it's up. That's a major pet peeve.
um, let's see, one flashlight with extra batteries, bring a flashlight because you're up late at night, and especially if you're in winter, then the time has already fallen back, which means it gets dark around 6, and you're not going to bed at 6. And then you also may bring religious reading materials, such as a Bible. Do not bring things like knives, scissors, money, alcohol, watches, you will have to take those off, video cameras, extra money over $30, any type of food, beef jerky, candy, water, you can bring water. No extra like Gatorade patches that pouches that you add to water, nothing like that. You will not be able to purchase things at most encampments, so make sure you are bringing this to encampment. Okay guys, I hope you found this helpful and I hope that you learned something from it. Leave a comment below if you're actually going to Winter Encampment because I'll see you there. Well, Winter Encampment 2014. Um, one quick last thing, try hard and just really try and do your best. I know that's something that can really easily be said and people say do 110%, but this is not some little thing and you can fail. So take this seriously. And if your parents are just making you go, be joyful about it because one, once you are done, it really is an amazing experience. And I'm not going to say you're going to have fun because it might not be 100% fun, but you will enjoy your experience. You will make friends. You will learn lots. You will learn more than I can ever say. You learn so much, especially on drill and leadership, aerospace. And you make sure you brush up on those things beforehand and don't just go up snowing absolutely anything. But if you don't know absolutely anything, your flight sergeant and flight commander are there. You also have a TAC officer. They're always there and they're looking out for your best interest. So I hope that you use them as a valuable resource and not just someone who's there because they're there. Another thing is I'm a chief and I'm staffing. So let's say you're a flight sergeant as a master sergeant, but you're a chief master sergeant. They're still going to call you a basic. I've seen so many cadets that go or they come back and they flaunt their rank, even if they're a first class and the rest of their flight is an airman. Don't flaunt your rank because you're all in the same boat. Even if you've been in cap five years and you've never been to encampment, well, you don't have any experience in the encampment field. Even if you've gone once before and got sick and had to go home, you don't have any en encampment experience. So just be mindful of what you're saying and what's going on because your flight sergeant and flight commander know all and see all. So be paying attention to your attitude, how you're encouraging others, how hard you're working, if you're complaining, if you're just being annoying, because you can be annoying, trust me. So once again, I hope you found this video very helpful and informative, and I hope that you learned a whole lot from it. Once again, leave a comment below if you're going to Texas Wing 2014 Winter Encampment, or leave a comment on if this helped you or what else you learned from encampment. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.